Good afternoon, sons and daughters, members of Jesus Global Ecclesia Ministries Worldwide, friends and partners. It is 4.53 p.m. and I'm talking to you from my study desk. Um, right now, a few moments ago, the Lord spoke to me expressly to tell you this. Um, first of all, before I deliver the message to you, and exclusively, this is for you. Uh, in James chapter 4, verse number 3, not verse number 7, the Bible says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now, you can see there is a guarantee of the devil fleeing. The Bible never said he would run, but he will flee. To flee means you, you run not even able to pick anything as you are running because you are escaping. And that shows you that you are a terror and a terrorist to the kingdom of darkness. All right? But the message that the Lord gave to me, to you, is this, that many of us, we wait for Satan's attack before we now begin to see how we can retaliate. And the Lord said to me to tell you, that is not how to win in the warfare of life. The reason why you need to pray always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit is because you need to take the battle to the gates of the enemy and cause damage there while they are still weak. Sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. That tells you Satan is constantly orchestrating evil against you. And in the Lord's prayer, he says, pray that he leads it doesn't lead into temptation anyway. But what that prayer talks about is that, that you pray that you lead us not into temptation. Does not mean God is the one that leads into temptation. What the Lord is saying there, because I believe strongly that's a misinterpretation, is that pray that you will not fall into any temptation, but to deliver you from the evil one. All right? We'll do justice more to that some other day. So you could see, I bring you there for you to know that when every man is tempted, do not say you are tempted of God because God does not tempt any man with evil. In actual fact, he said he will, with the temptation make a way of escape for you. So God does not tempt with evil. When temptation comes, when opposition comes from the devil, the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. But in, you must not wait for you to be sick before you claim your divine health. Don't wait to be broke before you claim financial liberty. Do not claim, do not wait for the enemy to attack you, to attack your home. And the Lord said, this is a wrong way for you to fight battle because then you are doing fire fighting. The enemy has already weakened all your defense. So you are now going to be dealing with both an enemy and trying to recover from the attack, which makes you weak. The best way to fight spiritual warfare is for you to launch an attack before the enemy awakes. All right? So... This is the wisdom of God for spiritual battles for you. Every day, the benefits of salvation in Psalm 103 must become your daily prayers. You claim it upon your life. The Bible says it is because of the message of God that we are not consumed because His compassion fails not. They are new every morning. Every day, you need strength for each day to overcome any evil of the day or any futuristic attack. The Bible says a prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. The foolish one, they passes on and they are punished. Stop waiting for Satan to attack you. What do you do the whole day, the whole week? What do you do? The whole week you eat like jaka, you, you drink, no time to fast. All right? I believe strongly in the next few days so to come, I will have to organize some fasting and prayer to be able to teach you how to fast and how to run this show. And how to always be ahead of your enemy. So the Bible says, how many of you want to go into a battle and we not first of all understand the armory of the enemy and know whether you are stronger than the enemy or you go make peace with him. But in Christ Jesus, we are already stronger than our enemy. And that's why the Bible says you need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. 
So sons and daughters of God, hear me well. Never again should you wait for Satan to attack your business before you start looking for solution. You don't wait for Satan to attack your husband before you start looking for solution. And I hope women are hearing this. Every day you are doing lovey-dovey, you are not covering the man with prayers, and when he falls into error, you are the biggest town crier. And you go around and say, men are not faithful. You go around and say, he has broken my heart. What did you do to shield him? You are the helper. The same thing on the other side. How do you live your life 24-7 and never ever cover your children in prayer? Family devotion is good, but it's never going to be enough for the spiritual battle that you face every day. Child of God, it's time for you to take responsibility. Spend about an hour every day or a night before to take care of the evil of tomorrow. So that you can step into a day that is full of God's goodness and mercies following you. Take care of the future of your children. Pray for them, who they are going to marry. Pray for them, the school they will go. Pray for them, the friends they will have. You can't start doing fire fighting when the teenagers are becoming rebellious. What have you been doing all these years? This is the word of the Lord for you. It is when you are now of age, if you are a teenager or a young person yet to marry that you are hearing this. When you are now 22, 23, 24, or even close to 30, you are not married. That's when you start doing fire fighting or who to marry. These are issues you, have, you ought to have settled a long time. And you have the privilege of the Holy Ghost. That is the way you present your case before the Lord, even if you don't know what to say in prayers. Write down what you want to say and ask utterances from the Holy Ghost to take care of this. Until you pray, until you have peace or joy or both flooding your heart, then you know the Lord has answered you. Never wait for the enemy's attack ever in your life before you start doing firefighting. And never you think the devil loves you so much that he won't attack you because he will attack. All right? And that's why the Bible says resist him, he will flee from you. So when you resist him, before ever he tries to attack you, he will never come near you. And I must say the righteousness delivered from evil, righteousness delivered from death, there are so many things, righteousness set an edge around you like the devil could not touch job is forever waiting for you to create a gap for him but that's why you give no place to the devil and so if you never break the egg the devil cannot touch you so in praying protection in praying ahead of time you resist the devil even in temptations which is primary the only major way he can get into you bind him over the mind of your children bind him over the mind of your spouse bind him over the minds of your co-workers take care of these things and that's why the Bible says, first of all, prayer should be made for those in authority, for leaders, for political leaders, because when the devil takes advantage of them and there is a problem in your, in your nation, you will not even be able to go to church. When COVID struck the world, they shut down churches. And that's a challenge for the church. How did that happen? How did we allow such things to happen? So I am challenging you as the Lord has sent me to you this afternoon, to tell you, never wait for the devil. Frustrate your frustration before they frustrate you. Torment your tormentors before they torment you. Attack your attackers before they attack you. Because this is exactly what the devil does on a daily basis. And that's why men ought always to pray. Never give up. Never faint. There are things you must continually pray. And we have the weapon to pray always in the Holy Ghost. While you are in the bus, while you are traveling, while you are in the place, anywhere you are, you can pray in tongues for 10 hours without being a nuisance. And you will see the results. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of supplication and intercession come upon you and come upon the house. Leforia la hizakata, boshaka tibreni masok tebenda sita. There's a particular family right now where. The children are a pain to the parent. And these parents are frustrated. The Lord said, I will show you mercy. You will not lose any of those children. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said, there is somebody that has been praying for those children. That he has answered his prayer over those children. 
And because of him, there will be a complete turnaround, says the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to let you know that God loves you so much, he has made provision for all our life to be enjoyed. But we need to take responsibility to harvest the miracles, to harvest the spiritual blessings that the Lord has already given us. I remain yours sincerely, the lead pastor of Jesus Global Ecclesia Worldwide, your pastor, Apostle Ambassador David Lunge. If you need any counsel, if you need any support in prayers, that's why God has raised us up. He has raised us up to subdue the devil in your life and to empower you to fulfill your life in God, to enjoy the goodness and the best of God and to live your best life. I release you into the hand and the wisdom of God. Any limitations in your life that is preventing you in the place of prayers, in the secret place of God, under the shadow of the Almighty, may those limitations be lifted up. May God grant you grace, grant you power, grant you strength, grant you unction to take responsibility. A prudent man foresee evil hides himself. The foolish one, they passes on and they are punished. One reason you will be punished in life over your health, over your finance, over your business, over your marriage, over anything, it's because you are not prudent. You don't foresee evil. Only those who foresee evil takes care of the evil before the evil comes. It means, therefore, you can live totally free from evil by putting the devil under your feet in every area of your life before ever the devil attacks you. And I pray right now as a man sent by God with the authority of God, in any area the enemy is afflicting you, I command the affliction to stop. The spirit behind that affliction I bind and cast out in your body, in your marriage, in your business, in every area of your life. And listen to me, I am not just talking. I am saint. And I know how and where my anointing works. The anointing, the grace of God upon my life takes care of the devil. And as I speak to you right now, if there be any area the devil has been dominating in your life, he is letting you go now because he's hearing me. And I release the angel of God into your situation for you to begin to enjoy the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And if you have committed any sin, I want you to know that the blood of Jesus already took care of all your sins. And I decree and declare you forgiving, go and sin no more. Receive grace for holiness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The, the, the Lord is speaking to me right now. There is a minister of God who is hearing this, who has gone into hell. And as a result of that, the guilty consciousness has kept you low and the devil kept pounding you every day. God said, I should say to you, remember the prodigal son. And do what the prodigal son did and your case is settled. So you are declared forgiven. The masses of God is speaking on you. And if you need counseling, contact me because there may be more for you to handle than just speaking generally. God bless you. Thank you, Father, for the answers. Thank you for sending your word to us. Glory and honor to your name, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For you to know what is happening right now, it is 5.08 p.m. and today is the um, 3rd, today is the um, 28th of March, the 3rd month of 2023. Let it be on record, the Lord has visited you. In Jesus' name, Amen.